Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to use IMCE and IMCE WYSIWYG Bridge to add an image upload uh, field to your WYSIWYG editor. So this is different than the field that we used before where we made an image field and then we just chose to insert it into our WYSIWYG. This is an actual built-in file uploader into the WYSIWYG. So it's a little bit more advanced, but a little bit more functional. So uh, the first thing I want to go to is uh, drupal.org slash project and then the module name is IMCE. We're going to go ahead and just download the latest one. And then also we need this WYSIWYG bridge. This is what gets IMCE talking to your WYSIWYG. So we'll just click uh, download here on our zip. And as you can see it only supports CK Editor, FCK Editor, and TinyMCE right now. Uh, since we're using CK Editor, if you followed along with the videos before, then you should be totally fine. So let me just install those modules. I'm just going to put those in the Sites All Modules folder, as if you remember from before. Let's unzip these. Okay, let's throw them in there in our Modules folder. Okay, now let's enable by Modules. Scroll down, we can see them. Here, let me just unhide that. Okay, so IMCE is here. And then we just need the WYSIWYG bridge, which is under user interface. We'll click to enable that. And let's save this configuration. So now, to get this working, we're going to have to configure it. Let's scroll down to our IMC module right here. And there's a little gear with configure. We'll click on that. And here, you're going to say, uh, so here, if you notice, we have a couple of things. And this might be confusing if it's your first time in. However, we have configuration profiles and role profile assignments. Uh, if you notice, this profile name is user1. If you are the user that installed Drupal, you are user1, and that is it. No one else is user1. This is just a profile name for these configurations. So if you see this site maintenance account is set to user1, if you wanted all administrators, on your site to also use that same thing, we would select user one. Um, since we do, you know, if you want, if you have other uh, users, if you have other types of users, like let's say you have specific content editors that are only going to be editing content, what you can do is you can create a new profile and set that all up for them. So let's actually click this edit here. We're not going to create a new one, but we'll edit so you can see what kind of options are available. So of course you can give your profile a name. Um, you can have a maximum file upload size. So let's say you don't want users uploading gigantic images to take up space on their website. Um, you can give it a megabytes limit. You can give the directory a quota. So if you have these uploading into a specific directory, you can make sure that they don't upload a certain amount. Uh, total user quota in megabytes. Uh, permitted file extensions. Right now we're pretty much allowing anything by using this um, star here. And just like these, there is no quota or maximum file size because they're all set to zero. We can have a maximum image resolution. Right now it's 1200 by 1200. Um, so that's no big deal. I don't think I'll be uploading anything larger than that. And then our maximum number of files per operation. Of course, we're going to keep this as unlimited because right now I want to be able to upload as many images as I feel pleased to. So now it's going to ask for a directory. Um, so this is the directory that the files, the images are going to upload into. So this file needs to be something that has proper permissions so that it can be uh, accepting images. So if we want to use our image folder, let's go to my file structure. Let's go back here. So if we just want to create an image folder, we'll just create a new folder. I'll just do it IMG, and then we can say that it's going to be root IMG that these files are going to be uploaded to. If we have any problems with that, it's going to let us know. So thumbnails, it's going to tell you the size, medium, large. Uh, you can change these if you like. We'll leave them, and we'll just click Save. OK, so changes have been saved. OK, we're all good here. OK, so now let's add this IMCE button to our WYSIWYG. To do that, let's go back into our configuration. And then we're going to look at WYSIWYG profiles. So we're going to click on full HTML edit because full HTML is the WYSIWYG profile that we're using. So we're going to set this up 
And we're just going to click buttons and plugins here. If you remember, this is where you turned on which items you wanted to show up in your WYSIWYG. So we have to turn on two things in here. We have to turn on image and then IMCE. So we'll just click image and then IMCE right here. And then let's save this. So now that we saved this, we should be able to use our IMCE. Let's go to some content. I'm just at this, uh, this first article that we made here. And if you see now, there's an image button right here. So if we select this, it's going to bring up this menu. This menu allows to do a couple things. Set an inline width and height, allow you to add a border, horizontal split, space, vertical space, to set the alignment, alternate text, or you can actually have your URL. Let's say you want to have an image that's already in your image upload directory. You can browse your server and find it. Well, let's say we want to add a link. Let's click Browse Server, and it's going to bring up this file browser window. Here you can see our directory root image, and it's asking if we want to refresh it because I just clicked on it. But this is where our images are going to be stored on our site. If you notice here, there's an Uploads button. Let's click this Upload, and let's choose a file. And I'm not sure I have any great image files. Actually, let's take a screenshot really quick. Okay, now there should be a screenshot right here. Let's use that. We'll click Upload. And we're going to create thumbnails for it too while we do. And just click Upload here. Okay, so the image was resized because uh, 1200 by 1200 was what we had the maximum set as, if you remember before. And you can now see we have our screenshot, our small, medium, and large. We're just going to use this large one, and we're going to click Insert Image. Actually, let's use the large one. We don't need this giant one for this example. So let's click Insert Image here. And then we can just click OK here. Under Advanced tabs, you can add an ID or a class. Um, and Link, you can set it to be linking something. However, we're not. So let's just click OK. And as you can see, our image is right here, it's now in our post, and we didn't have to add an extra image field. Also, you can set up more advanced profiles to see who gets access to this field on your site. So that's how to upload images and browse your server for the ones you've already uploaded using IMCE and IMCE WYSIWYG Bridge. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.